Oh, this looks very ghetto, but this is dumb good. I promise you. Oh my god. Oh, maybe I should put some more vodka. Wow, I'm really beginning to look like an alcoholic. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. I look a little crazy, but let's disregard that and pay more attention to the fact that I have something here that I'm mixing up, okay? So what we have here would be, let's just turn this way, I don't really know. Let me show y'all what we have here, right? So first we have some sorrel in this bottle. We've had this for a while. This looks very ghetto, but this is dumb good, I promise you. And then <laughs> I have some vodka in here. This is also very ghetto. But it's dumb good. So this is how much sorrel I put in this bottle because I want to refrigerate it. I don't know why I don't just put the big bottle. I feel like I feel like I'm doing something when I have it in here. And I'm gonna put some vodka. There's already rum in this because when you make sorrel, unless it's like virgin, there's rum. Oh my god. You see all of this here? All of this light color hair would be the vodka so we're gonna mix that up maybe that's too much okay that's not that much all right oh, i sound like an alcoholic okay i'm not you guys know that i'm gonna mix it up and we can put this in the fridge so that whenever i'm ready to drink it i don't have to mix it with um, the vodka myself because it's already mixed. Just put a little bit more, just because, you know? Oh my god, this shit is gonna be so strong. And this right here is gonna go in the fridge. Chill! And then, I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm gonna leave that there. I can put it in the fridge. This that's left here, I'm gonna pour the rest of the vodka in there. All right, it's not that much vodka. Okay, I'm not gonna OD. Okay, maybe I already OD. <laughs> and so now I have like a small bit of vodka left in my little bottle right there. And then I have this of Sara left and I'm gonna leave this to cure together. And this cup here already has my vodka and my sorrel. I was gonna drink some wine, but I've really been liking this lately. And so. Oh my God. Oh, maybe I should put some more vodka. Wow, I'm really beginning to look like an alcoholic. I promise you I haven't had this in a hot little minute, so I'm actually not an alcoholic. I also feel like, <laughs> me contradicting myself every time I say I'm not I also feel like for the amount of why does it look like it's swelling or am I bugging maybe I should just okay. God. not a good concoction Their mouth changing. Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. Put this in the fridge. And honestly, I don't want to keep this ghetto looking water bottle of vodka on the table, so I'm gonna just pour the rest of the vodka in here. And that just be it. It is what it is. Okay? Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do now, maybe I should stop bending to begin with. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to change shower, take this wig off so I can wash it. I have this headband over it because today it was coming off very ghetto. I'm telling you, 
So I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna wash it and then a shower <laughs> and then mm -mm -mm. I could smell the aroma of the vodka. Mm. Definitely gonna be up tonight. It's okay. I'm off tomorrow. Anyways, I'm gonna change and stuff and stuff and then later. Hi guys, it is the next night from the clip that you guys just watched. So um, I'm sitting here at the kitchen table. I just ate dinner and I feel so good. It's early, it's like 7.08 right now, but I ate dinner from like 6.45 or so and I really feel good. I'm trying not to eat too late. Even though sometimes I feel like when I eat early, I be starving later on. But like last night, I had an apple and a banana. So I feel like if I'm hungry, I can eat that. Also, as I'm, as I'm itching here, I've been using this hand sanitizer at my second job and I feel like it's something inside of it that I'm, <laughs> it's something inside of it that I think I'm allergic to because I have some little bumps right here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see because you know how these cameras work right here, you see? That is wild. That is so crazy. But, um, what are my friends? Like I said, I'm sitting here and I just finished the last bit of like a glass of wine. Like, just one glass. Literally. And one of my friends messaged me on Instagram and he was just like, yeah, you're an alcoholic. And I'm just like, no. Because this was literally just one glass and the alcoholic percentage is so small. Like, it's not even... It don't be that much. Anyways, I'll insert... Can I insert the stories? Well, yeah, they'll have no audio. So I'll insert the story right here of like the wine and stuff like that so you guys can see. But I really, really feel like I'm not an alcoholic. And this is probably me living in denial. But the way how I used to drink wine before, I really don't drink it that much anymore. One time I really used to enjoy it. And I used to look forward to like coming home and like enjoying a glass of it. Lately, I've been either too tired or just been working too much. Or I haven't even had time. Because when I come home, all I'm thinking about is like going to sleep so that I can feel well rested. And today was a very productive day for me. Like I did laundry. I cooked um pretty much pretty much meal prepped and like shared out the lunches and like put them in the container put them in the fridge so everything is really ready to go for this week and i really really feel very productive and i even slept today too so i'm telling you it was the best of both worlds because after my laundry i went and i oh i'd really look like an alcoholic if i had another glass so we won't, and I promise I will not take another glass so when I cut the camera off. I'm gonna just lay down and just chill for right now, like watch some YouTube videos or whatever. Also, as I'm talking about um, my Insta stories and everything, I've been anxious for the last week to like the last week and a half, right? And I haven't Googled anything about anxiety because I've been dealing with this for a while where sometimes I get so anxious to the point where I feel like my stomach is full so I can't even eat because I'm so anxious. This time it's not that bad. And I wouldn't say my anxiety is terrible. It's like bad, but it's not terrible. Like I'm still functional, I'm still okay, I'm still fine. I didn't Google anything and just now I was watching a YouTube video. And I know how interest-based ads work. So if I had Googled, then I could understand that. But like I said, I have not Googled anything about anxiety. And the ad that I saw was everything about anxiety and like why the lady was anxious. And I'm just like, um, who's listening? Like, who's there? 
because what? And like I said, it's not even that bad where I feel like I need something. And if it were that bad, if it were, if it was that bad, if it were that bad, I would have known. If it was that bad, I would have known. If it was that bad, I would have known. <laughs> you see this right here is an internal battle that I have with myself all the time. Figuring out if I said things in the correct grammar because I'm so anal about that. Most people who know me, they know that. Others, maybe not so much. Because these days, I'm really learning to let stuff slide so much more. And I feel like, too, as I'm on the topic of that, I earlier realized that, I mean, I feel like I've known all along. And I don't know what really pointed it out earlier. But I realized that, you know, people really couldn't pay me to get a reaction out of me. It takes so much to really aggravate me to the point where I will say something like I'm not a confrontational person. So I will ignore any and everything as long as it avoids a confrontation because we're not we're not doing that. Like, come on, we're adults. If it can't be a conversation that is like amicable and your tone is hair and my tone is hair because I'm good with like keeping my tone hair. Once you start shouting. I'm gonna go there with you and so I don't like that you know so if it's a conversation where both tones are on like the same level the same level on the same level then that's fine but like if one person starts shouting instantly I'm feeling attacked and I just feel like yeah no you're not no you're not gonna talk to me like that and I could remember having like an argument some time ago and like I was fine and everything and then the tone the person's tone really just changed and I'm just like yeah I'm leaving as in I'm leaving this conversation and you know the person was saying to me where are you going like we're in the middle of a conversation yeah I'm down for having a conversation but you're gonna have to check your tone like we're not gonna be doing that like I feel like it just comes off as very disrespectful and if I'm not disrespecting you then I don't want that in return and that's one of the reasons too why I make sure that I I'm very conscious about everything that I say because I don't want to be disrespectful and I don't want to be disrespected Anyways, I feel like that was a very long rant. However, wrapping up my day, because like I said, I'm going to go um, lay down and watch some YouTube videos. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I need to go shower before I lay down, but I'll see you guys in the next video.